Okay, <clears throat> a little bit more about cutting <clears throat> quarter and half wave cables. Phased cables or tuned cables. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which people prefer. Apparently this is a touchy subject. Some people don't believe in it. It's not necessary. and Other people seem to think it is. Especially like the ham community seems to think uh, this is a thing. So here I've got a half wave RG400 which is about 12 foot 7 inches which comes out in the math using the uh, uh, velocity factor of RG400 this is Chinese RG400 but it is true Teflon <clears throat> and I've got two quarter wave jumpers right there I've got A diamond antenna made in Japan. 1.15 VSWR. 15 watt. 50 ohm. So I've got a piece of 213 here. That I cut. Before I knew anything about. Velocity factors and lengths. And uh. Show you what's going on here. <clears throat> so now if you plug this thing in or turn it on with nothing hooked up to it you basically get like a an out of range or an overload but you still get an out of range overload basically like 650 it's greater than 650 ductance so basically it sees nothing right the beam the the radio wave is just coming out of there and, and it's just immediately dissipating I guess so now I hook this piece of coax up to it nothing on the other end x46 r4 Because it's not tuned, it's just some random length, about three foot is what I cut it to. 126 picofarad. 0.2700 micro henry. And it just goes here. <clears throat> now, it said, and I believe, uh, one of the most right ways to do it is to have a 50 ohm dummy load attached when you're doing this. Because in reality, you will have your antenna hooked up to it, which should have, but probably will have some reactants with 50 ohms impedance. If it's tuned to the frequency you're going to use. There's 50 ohms. I still have some reactants. I guess not reactants. It would be, uh, yeah, reactants. So essentially, I've got zero reactants, impedance, zero capacitance. <clears throat> now let's add my cable. Now this is a three foot. Everyone says, well, I'll just keep it in three foot lengths and you should be fine. Which, I guess a three foot is an eighth. Eighth wave, which nobody really says to do that other than just keep it in three foot increments. So now, 326 picofarads, 105 microhenries, 0.105 microhenries, 17x. Now, this dummy load does have some of its own, <clears throat> its own, uh, 
its own input on that. But it's supposed to be 50 ohms. So that means this cable is, in act, is acting like some resistance and some capacitor and skewing it. So the way I feel is that when you do a jumper, I may not, I may be wrong with this. When you do a jumper, you basically don't want to see any change of your dummy load. I'm not saying you want to get to zero, but you don't want to take away or add to that. If you take away from that, essentially now, your jumper is tuned for this dummy load, not a generic 50 ohm, I think. So here, oh yeah, and here's a, a little tiny guy, because I also heard someone say, if you keep it under a foot, it has no, has no effect. Well, it seems to. It might not have any SWR, I don't remember. Say it yeah, buddy. I'm going to by my own self. Hold on. Oh, good job, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. So now, it did add a little bit of uh, SWR. It had a little bit of a little bit of X factor reactants. It changed the resistance just a little bit. And it's only like a, a six-inch piece. Now there was no capacitance. Now there is. There is no inductance. Now there is, a little bit. So this is still acting like a little bit of resistor, a little bit of capacitor, which is essentially taking your antenna out of tune, even if you use this. Or at least it's changing the way you see it, or something down the lines of that. Yeah, buddy. This has holes. Yeah, it's supposed to have holes, buddy. So, so you can put the Hold on, bud, hold on. So now, this is my half wave. I should have bought better connectors. Do this attach on to this? Hey, do this attach on to this? It does attach onto that. Wow. I'll show you. Hold on, bud. So now, we're back to zero. Capacitance, zero inductance. And remember, this has like a seven, roughly seven reactants. So we're still like right there. Like a six. Well, that's between us. Hey, that's yeah, but like a set on. Good job. No, Hold on. No, no, don't touch this one, buddy. Hold on. Why? So, I believe the, the dummy load has around a 6 or a 7. So, we're right there. It changed the resistance a tiny, tiny bit. It made the reactants a little bit better. But my SWR is still 1. And uh, maybe I bumped the frequency a little bit. It should be around 27.2. It doesn't change much. <clears throat> Going through the whole uh, 11 meter band, it doesn't really change much. So, this is a half wave. Now, if you do the quarter wave, things get weird. So this is like a little bit more than six foot. And this was tuned without a dummy load. So this is a quarter wave jumper, six foot, roughly. No, 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 don't touch, buddy. Hold on. Because uh, you're a big old capacitor. You're a meat bag of capacitor. <clears throat> Where'd my resistance go? I don't know. I don't know. Where'd my X go? I don't know. Let's go to capacitance. There we go. Hold on, Bubby. It says, uh, got seven. It's not saying Pico Fair. It's just giving me my reactants. And then there's the 7 again, but it doesn't say anything about micro -hennies. Now, <clears throat> when I take the dummy load off, okay, it's 
Guess what resistance I'm going to get. Hey, Dad. Nothing changed there. Dad. Hold on, buddy. Flashlight. Get my flashlights full? Yep. How many loads Nothing. Is? Didn't change. So I just put the dummy load on and off. It didn't change. So when you're doing quarter wave, it, uh, I don't really think you need a dummy to do a quarter. Like, uh, like three mate said. Three mate said you don't need a dummy to do a quarter. I, I, I believe he's, I believe he's right. Because, uh, you don't see 50 ohms when you're doing a quarter. You can snip it till you get 0x, but it doesn't really seem to make a difference either way. So I think you can do quarter jumpers without a dummy load. The meter doesn't seem to care. So now... <clears throat> Dad, yeah, but can I please take up this? Hold on, please. My, uh, no. Can you jump down for a sec? Because I need to connect all these together, buddy. So now, yep, I'm going to connect that one too. So now I've got a quarter, a six foot jumper. Can I please help you? Oh, one sec, buddy. Can I got I a quarter. Yeah, buddy, hold on. I got a quarter and a half. I've got no resistance. Well, right now it's just a quarter. So I'm going to connect the quarter to a half. How? I'm going to connect these connectors together. Can I this one? No, not yet, Bubby, please. Why? Because I'm not ready for that. That's next. No, not yet. But this needs to be picked up. Okay, so now I've got essentially a three quarter wave, a quarter and a half. Doesn't seem to have affected anything. Or no, what does it do? Yeah, I've got a half and a three quarter. Let's make sure this thing is. Not trying to go to sleep on us. Okay, so right now it's still showing me no resistance. Now, what happens when I connect? Hold on, bub. Hold on. We're going to connect these two together now. Now I'm going to connect another six foot. So now I've got 24 feet, which is essentially a whole wave. I'm going to set you down for a second. What is this called? It's a union. How, why did you make two? I mean, three. I mean, how many? Well, I got three here. Where's the open end? <clears throat> so here's the open end. There's my ohms back. Nothing changed other than I... No, no, hold on, bub. Why? Hold on, because you're going to play with my... Uh, my meter gave me a false reading. So now we're back to essentially the original reading of this. A 24 feet or two quarters and one half cable jumpers hooked up. And when I unhook it, basically nothing changes. I think that's really what you want. I think you want to make this thing invisible, right? Yeah. So Can you say invisible? Yeah. Say it. Invisible. Invisible. Yeah, I told you I could say it. So I've got visible. nothing and nothing. So. Now, if I unhook the dummy, I think we're going to lose our resistance. So basically now, it's, it's, it says it doesn't see anything. It's no different than if I unplug this thing. It makes no difference. It does not see any of this wire. Hold on, Bobby. Can I get this jumper? Can I get this jumper? 
Okay. So now I'm gonna connect this guy to this guy. To this? Nope, we're not gonna use that little tiny jumper. That was that was a mistake. Not going in that for your oh, Hold on. Now we're gonna connect this guy. I need to get D two up so it can make it so it can make power. So now essentially I've got my antenna load, dummy load, attached to one whole wavelength of coax. There it goes. And it basically doesn't see any of the coax. It just sees the dummy load. Oh, I'm doing something here. One of these connections is loose. So Hold you, on, pup. So why you just do that? Hold Can on. Can I just hold this? No. Why? Because uh, it's going to think you're part of the system. It's going to think you're you're a circuit is what it's going to think. Oh, there we go. Dummy load is loose. <clears throat> nope. Why? When you got toddlers, you got to watch. They'll play tricks on you. Why? I don't know. Why do you play tricks on daddy? I think you're teasing me. So here we go. So I have a dummy load, and it doesn't see any difference. So 49 and 6. Dummy load. So personally, from what I can see, is you. I think the best way to do it is a half, because the box does not see a half wavelength at all. Maybe the quarters do work, but the half seem to be the best way to go. If you can toss, if you can spare the DB loss in a couple of 12 foot jumpers, I think that's the best way to go. Okay, buddy, you can play with that all you want now. Now. Yep, you can hold it and plug it in. What about that thing? This thing, I'm still using this thing. So here we go. How do you take this thing off? Five, six. Same difference. Okay, how can so I think when you're tuning these things, I think this up, I think preferably you want a 12 foot. That's my thoughts. What do you guys think?